One of the important principles to remember following an acute injury or immediately following surgery is the PRICE principle. This stands for protection, rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Following in an injury, the most important thing to do is protect the area. If this means using crutches or a brace or an immobilizer, that's what you need to do. You want to be as pain-free as possible with any of your activities. Also, rest. The best thing you can do is stay off it, avoid causing further injury to the area. Um, the next one is ice. Ice is really important immediately following the injury. It's also very good for pain alleviation in the first one to seven days after an injury. The fourth one is compression. Compression can be done through ACE wrapping or elastic wrapping. Um, a way to do this is always start um, below the area of the injury and wrap up. This is going to help push the blood up from the injured area. So pretend I have sprained my ankle and I need to apply a compression wrap. The wrap is able to stretch about this far. You want to use about 50% of that when applying the wrap. You want to start below the area of the injury and wrap up. So I'm going to start below my foot and wrap up my ankle and cover all of the areas, including the heel. This prevents any of the swelling from pooling in one specific area that missed wrapping. With an ankle, you're able to go down below and then pull back up. This is called a figure eight pattern. And then continue working your way up following that. Make sure you leave enough wrap to end on an up note. There is some compression. Following that, you want to use tape rather than the pins or pokey, um, pokey things that they supply with the ace wrap. Now that I am compressed, I need to elevate. You want to elevate above the level of the heart in order to be the most effective. This means that the area of injury needs to be above the area of the heart, so I would elevate down here and then lay down. This encourages blood flow back to the heart. So here's an example of rest, ice, compression, and elevation all at once. So now I'm just adding the nice pack uh, to Kirsten's ankle. Um, we always want to protect the skin, so I'm going to put towel roll down here and then just the ice pack right over the sore spot. Uh, you can pl place a t uh, towel under the leg for more support. Uh, perfect example would be at home laying on the couch putting your leg up on uh, the armrest of the couch. So as you can see we've got a good example of rest, ice, compression, and elevation.